Um, some of the work I've worked on recently would be with uh, Wiz Khalifa. Occasionally, when we when we have time, um, like when I was on set with uh, Raven Felix, we were filming her music video "Job Done," and Wiz Khalifa's DJ Bonix came up to me and he said, "Wiz wants a behind the scenes video. Can you do that?" I was like, yeah, good thing I brought everything. <laughs> so I would have a lot of fans direct messaging me, like trying to get to Wiz or like get clothing to them or whatever it was. And I just had it locked for that reason. And they're like, just ignore it. And so the one thing that's helped is like with YouTube, for an example, when we were in college, we didn't have celebrities or like tutorial videos on how to do something. It was that you had a viral video somebody uploaded of, you know, like Charlie bit my finger with a baby, like. That was it. But, like, there was really nothing of substance there like it is now. your host Erica and I'm here with my host Xavier and we have a special guest Andrew Arnold and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us today you're welcome and so um, what is some work that you've um, worked on as a photographer and video editor um, some of the work I've worked on recently would be with uh, was Khalifa and his um, Taylor Gang Entertainment label. Uh, one of his artists, Raven Felix, uh, did her listening party in September at uh, Page 71 in Studio City. And she, um, we rented it out and they just kind of played her album. It was like a listening party. So I was there and just kind of captured the event in the moment. Uh, people enjoying the, the new music that was released. Oh, awesome. And um, what's a listening party? Uh, a listening party is where in the industry they kind of have uh, like basically a rap party almost, like TV. How you finish your TV show and you put it out and you kind of celebrate that moment being done. With the record being released, they um, had it the day before the record came out. So people got to hear the music before it was commercially available and kind of just got to relax and everybody just kind of got to enjoy their all their hard work. Oh, great. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So you've worked with big names like Wiz Khalifa how has like what's the difference um, between working with like a talent of that magnitude to like a regular everyday person uh, there really is no difference they are just regular people you know people kind of forget that I mean his, his name's Cameron you know it's like people forget he's a person <laughs> at times and you know it's just kind of knowing that and respecting it and treating them as anyone else you'd see on the street you know and that's the main thing people kind of lose sight of sometimes is that, you know, they wake up and put their pants on like, oh, like we all do, you know. So which camera did you use at this listening party? Um, I shoot with a full frame camera, a Canon 5D Mark II with nice. a uh, 24 to 70 2.8 lens. So it's fast for low light. There's a lot of the settings in like nightclubs and venues. It's primarily really dark in there. So you need a really good open lens and quick to capture everything. And so, uh, what was the lens again? Uh, it was a 24 to 70, uh, 2.8 20. f stop. So it gives you about a three foot range of travel. Excellent, yeah. okay. So what techniques um, do you use in both photography and videography or vice versa? Um, yeah, definitely rule of thirds is a main focus. Um, mm -hmm. And it's where you have like a square box with like four lines intersecting. Mm -hmm. And you frame people up off to the right a little bit so they look centered in the frame. So you don't want to shoot them like just straight on. Okay. Yeah. So moving on to editing, uh, what software do you prefer to use? Um, I use Final Cut Pro with a Mac computer. Yeah. I've used Adobe <laughs> Premiere. I've used Avid. And I find Final Cut to work the best for me with the workflow and the user interface. And what are the differences? Why would you use Final Cut opposed to Avid or Premiere? What um, does it offer you? For me, it offers me a faster workflow. So I'm already used to the interface so I can work faster and get work done quicker. Um, with Premiere, which most um, 
TV like stations use now is a little bit um, harder to use in the fact that it's some of the shortcuts aren't the same. Um, the way the timeline is laid out is different. Um, they allow you to put everything in like a folder, which is nice. So you can catalog your footage. Um, but the downside is you have to render everything out when you're finished. So you'll sit there when your project's done, rendering out all the work you've done. It can take sometimes 30 minutes. Whereas with Final Cut, it has what's called real-time rendering in the background. So when I'm finished with a project, it's pretty much already rendered for me, so I don't have to sit there and render everything out again and wait. I can just export it as I need to, whether it's for a phone, website, Instagram. I can do all that a lot faster. That's very true. Yeah, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, whatever you prefer, whatever works best for you is pretty much the way to go. But a lot of people I know in the TV industry are starting to use Premiere more. Oh, so um, can you um, tell us what rendering is? Um, yeah, rendering is basically the process when you're finished, if you have like a transition, like what's called a cross dissolve, where it'll kind of gently fade from one scene to another, is that computer takes that process and basically makes sure that it's all smooth and ready to go. And when that's finished, then your video will play back without choppiness or drop frames. So with editing, what um, structure do you need to use? Do you, is there anything specific that you know, oh, I'm going to use this background music or? Um, occasionally when we when we have time. Um, like when I was on set with uh, Raven Felix, we were filming her music video, Job Done. And uh, I was just there to hang out. And Wiz Khalifa's DJ Bonix came up to me and he said, Wiz wants a behind the scenes video. Can you do that? I was like, yeah, I think I brought everything. <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up filming it for him. And yeah, we knew we were going to use that song, of course. Um, but in terms of the editing itself, that was kind of up to me to kind of figure out what to use and where. So I mainly started out by syncing the music with certain scenes I knew I wanted to use. So that way I know the music and the vocals, like when they're moving their voices, syncing to the music would be in time. Uh -huh. And then from there, I just layered on other scenes of like the crew working and things like that from the uh, background. Okay, that's yeah. really cool. So I see that you got your training at uh, Cal State Northridge Media Program? Yes, went to see some, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how uh, that program was for you? Um, yeah, initially I started off in TV production um, and they taught us how to use broadcast cameras, um, certain terms where they would tell us to truck right or left and that would mean to move the camera to the left or the right or to dolly uh, up or down so you'd move the camera close and when you dolly up and then move it back when you would dolly like backwards um, and that's where I kind of really got to hone more of the filming skills um, and they put us through directing the TV show so you'd have to be in a control room and stare at like four different monitors and tell the camera operators which camera to use so you'd have to constantly be thinking about okay I want to zoom in on this person but they're on camera two, so you'd have to tell them to cut to camera two, and then they would. And it's kind of a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> Advice for transfer students? Um, yeah, I transferred myself, actually. I went to Ohlone, uh initially in the Bay Area. And uh, the advice I'd probably give would be, even if you don't know exactly what you want to major in yet, take that time while you're submitting your applications to think about what you want to really do when you're there. And also, if you or if you find something you already like already and you know you want to pursue that, I would recommend to start looking into classes and colleges that may have a better program as opposed to others for that that field that you want to get into. Okay. What's it like uh, doing freelance work? Uh, doing freelance work is tough. <laughs> You're constantly chasing money. Yeah. So <laughs> even though you email somebody an invoice, doesn't mean they're going to pay you. So then you have to keep following up with them and emailing them and, you know, there's times where you do have to potentially get into a lawsuit and go to court and file paperwork and that's not fun, but sometimes it's necessary. Can you explain to us the value of internships, how this really helped you out? Um, yeah, with the internships, um, when I was actually at CSUN, I transferred and had an uh, internship with MTV Networks in their production department. Um, yeah, their title was like a production management intern. And they really kind of showed us the entire gamut of what goes into a TV show. And part of that was they would have what's called a wrap binder. So at the end of every show and season, you would have a binder full of emails of, you know, contracts that people signed to be on the show. 
and part of our job was to scan all that information digitally and store it um, on their servers and with that it kind of really showed us that it's more than just setting up a camera crew and filming a tv show and then editing it and putting it out there's a lot more stuff on the back end <laughs> that you know you don't know about like if somebody happened to get injured that was in there you know and you'd have to you know make sure that paperwork was definitely in there and one thing it did kind of teach is to dot your i's and cross your t's you know and yeah. no, even if you think something's really insignificant it really isn't that really small thing could be something huge later that you need to like prepare for um one last question nowadays people are using social media to market themselves uh how has that changed um while you've been working um it's definitely changed a lot actually <laughs> um like for example i have an instagram account i used to keep private and i happened to meet um some people who were um, working with charlie puth's management team and they were like your instagram account's private i was like well, yeah like well, take it off like nobody wants to see a private account people want to see your work like stop doing that and the reason I told them I did that is because I would have a lot of fans direct messaging me, like trying to get to Wiz or like get clothing to them or whatever it was, and I just had it locked for that reason. And they're like, just ignore it. <laughs> like, yeah, like <laughs> at the end of the day, you just forget. You can literally just ignore a message, but it's like we're so used to always checking it and responding that you feel like you have to have it. Right. And, and so the one thing that's helped is like with YouTube, for an example, when we were in college, we didn't have celebrities or like tutorial videos on how to do something it was that you had a viral video somebody uploaded of you know like charlie bit my finger with a baby like that was it <laughs> but like there was really nothing of substance there like it is now if you you know want to learn how to use a camera or learn how to do you know web design or whatever it is you can just literally type into youtube and somebody can give you classes on that and help you learn it so it's definitely changed a lot yeah. okay so I guess that's all the time we have today. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me, guys. Okay. Uh, how can the audience get a, get a hold of you? Or is that uh, Instagram that's no longer oh, private? Oh, um, it's <laughs> 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 a good question. That is at uh, A. Arnold Photography. Okay. Yeah. Really cool. At A. Arnold Photography. It's not private anymore. It's not. <laughs> <laughs>